Telly off. Yeah, in a minute. David. Funny name, Scooter. Yeah, it's his nickname. He got stuck with it. It really suits him, though. Everyone calls him Scooter, even his mum and dad. Oh, you've met his mum and dad, then? Yeah, they're really nice. No third degree. Uh, just getting some background info. Listen, he can be a bit shy when you first meet him, but he's really lovely once you get to know him. Well, it obviously makes you happy, my darling. He's late. Only a couple of minutes. Oh, <laughs> saved by the bell. Go and let him in, then. David? Yeah, it's all. It's all. Help your grand set the table. Yes, go on. You know where everything goes. Serviettes? Yes, and they're not for wiping your nose on, neither. <laughs> and no teasing Sarah in front of Scooter. This'll be a bag of laughs. Oh, wait till you're caught in. Caught in? Seeing girls. Maybe I already am. Oh. This is news. I just won't be daft enough to bring them round here for tea. <sighs> hey, they're snogging on the doorstep. Oh, tea's ready now. I'll sop them. No, David, leave them. They'll be in soon. Not as peckish as these two eating face. David, come away from the door. I could go upstairs and tip a bucket of cold water over their heads. What are you doing? I'm dialing Sarah's mobile. Mm -hmm. Any other bright ideas? It's a bit cheeky, really. I mean, turning up late and then snogging our Sarah on the doorstep and your shepherd's pie is drying out. <laughs> I thought we were giving him a chance. They send each other some amazing texts. David! No, don't look at that smutty stuff. And they're not rude. They're boring. I'm drinking coffee. Do you take sugar? Yes, two spoons. Give it me. Hello? It's for you. Hello? Oh, Mum. OK. OK. He's ready. Hello. Hello. Um, Mum, this is Scooter. Hello, Scooter. Hello, Mrs Platt. Sorry I'm late. As long as you brought your appetite with you. Hope you like shepherd's pie. Sarah tells me you work with Skip Scooter. Yeah. Oh, well, that must be interesting. Oh, yeah. Nice to work outside. <laughs> yeah. Except when it rains. <laughs> yeah. So, you come inside for a snog when it rains or do you use an umbrella? David. How'd you put him? Very tasty, thank you, Mrs Platt. No, I've, I've told you before, you don't need to call me Mrs Platt. Sorry. Do you know he found a brand new lawnmower in a skip once? Yeah. Yeah, a big one. Really? Huh? Yeah, it even had a full tank of petrol. <laughs> oh, amazing what people leave in skips. Yeah. So, have you ever found a dead body or a case full of stolen money out like that? No. Did you find anything interesting today? No. Oh. oh. That was a lovely tea. Yeah, very nice, Mrs. Platt. Oh, um, no, no, you sit down. You don't do the washing up. Um, OK. Uh, where's the lavvy, mate? Go upstairs, first on right. Cheers. Do you want a coffee? Um, yeah, please. Two sugars? Yeah. Oh, come on, button. Nearly run you over. Oh, bless. Oops. You slip on, aren't you? Nearly oh. dropped you. So, what do you think? He seems very nice. I like him. And if he makes you happy, he'll do for us. So tell us again, Sarah. What's his name? His name is Scooter. <laughs> yeah, Scooter. <laughs> Never heard a name like that. Mm. Sounds like a young man that's going places. Thank you. <laughs> Scooter. So where do you live? Uh, lives on Regent Street with his mum and dad. And do they let him in house or do they just keep him in Gaddy? Well, where would she keep you? Hello. Hiya. Just hearing about this remarkable young man you've had around for his tea. Scooter. Yeah. He's very nice. Glad to hear it. He's quiet and shy and very polite. So, uh, nothing's happened, does it? No, I was just passing. Thought I'd pop in. Hey, you all right? She's, uh Look, I actually... went to see Sally this morning at the garage where she's working. Has Kevin said anything? Said anything? Said what he thinks about it. Well, he probably thinks like most husbands would think. 
And what's that? Well, he's glad she's earning a bit of extra money. Gail, what are you talking about? Oh, forget it. You're going to say something about Katie? No. She's fine. Right, Mum, just tell me I won't be a second. OK. Hi, Scooter. Come in. Thanks. What's that? It's Pond. All right. Um, well, sure, be a minute. Um, take a seat. Thanks. Um, what's it for, the Pond? It's a present. Oh, that's nice. Hi. Hiya. What your present? What is it? It's a pond. A pond? For your garden. Oh, I'll put it in, of course, and get you some fish. Bethany will love it. Finding Nemo. It's a favourite film. Oh, I should be made up with it. Oh, um, did you get my, uh, text? Yes. Uh, Mum, listen, I was thinking maybe that it might be all right if, if maybe I stayed at Scooters tonight, if that's all right with you. Yeah, yeah, OK. Oh, thanks. Um, can I have a word in the kitchen before you go? Yeah, sure. Listen, Mum, before no, you start... No, you listen. I think Scooter's a very nice boy and I'm sure he's got the very best of intentions. Yeah, he has. Yeah, I'm sure he has. It's just, um, it doesn't stop me worrying. No, Mum, there's From no... From a need. safety point of view. Yeah, well, we take precautions. There's no way I'm going to get caught out like that again. No way. I meant the pond. Oh, sorry. It's just that we've um, only got a small garden and a four-year-old who can't swim and I, I don't want to upset him or fall out with him, but um, I don't think the pond's a good idea. Yeah, you're right. I'll mention it to him. And I'm glad you're being careful. Well, yeah, I've, um, I've learnt my lesson this time. You have a good time. Oh, well, thanks, Mum. Right, come on, then. Early, but I just feel terrible if Bethany woke up and I wasn't there. It's all right. I wanted an early start. Need to finish digging the hole for the pond, uh, sandpit liner. Do you know, I really appreciate you going through all this trouble. It's no trouble. If Bethany's happy, you're happy. It's all I care about. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy. What's in the back? Ah. Stuff for the sandpit. Ta da! Don't worry. I've got a pramble that'll go in there. Fits a tree. Hey, wait till you see this. Video shop chucks it out. I'll bury the bottom bit in the sand. Bethany won't know the difference. They're always throwing these things out. I used to have a life size Angina Jolie in my bedroom, and there I met you. Uh, she went straight into the bed first. Mm. Come on. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Bethany's upstairs. Yeah. Dreaming of all the fun she's going to have with a bust wheelbarrow and half a squirrel. <laughs> It's gonna look more like a road accident than a play area. Oh, shut up. Where's Scooter? In the garden. Oh, yeah, please leave warm up. So how's he getting on? No, should we know? He haven't been near the house all afternoon. You're kidding, it's freezing. He's not even at least had a cuppa. I took some mugs out to him. Till a couple of hours ago, when he was so surprised to see me, Mummy fell down early, Doug. Oh, poor thing. I didn't even mention anything. We've been texting like mad all afternoon. Is he OK? Yeah, it's fine. I think he was more embarrassed than hurt, so I just let him get on with it. I shouldn't mention it. I oh, will do. We can have a laugh about it. OK. Mm. Sarah, I'm going to get some tea in a bit. Shall I get you some tea? Uh, no, Mum, I'm all right, thanks, cos I'm going to stay at Scooters tonight once I've got Beth settled. But thank you anyway. Hey. hey. <laughs> terrible! All over his knee it was. Oh, oh no! All over his knee. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Push him out. It was like crawling. Uh, I thought this sandpit were going to be in the garden. No, what are you doing? The sand everywhere. Oh, come here, Beth. I'll clean up, Mrs. Platt. Oh, it was a silly thing to do. Oh, don't tell her off, Mum. It's my fault. Yes, I knew it was. Blame me, please. Oh, no, there's no need blaming anybody. Worse things have happened. Come on, girl. It's time we're in the Rovers. Oh, you keep an eye on her. I will. See you later. Bye. Oh, really good job, Scooter. Thanks, Mrs. Platt. No credit where it's due. Yeah, you've shifted some earth, all right. It's the perfect size for the garden. And you're not angry about the sand in the house? Of course she's not. Yeah. We normally have sand in house. I'm not used to children. 
I didn't know Bethany would do that. Sarah should have kept her out of the garden till the job was finished. Right, come on, Scooter, let's go to your house. Uh, don't forget Beth. Oh, right, yeah. Come on, Bethany. Come on, Petal. Oh, you love your sandpit, don't you? And your toys. I love Scooter. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, he seems like a really nice boy. He really does. You can open him now. I got it for Bethany. She's always wanted a doll's house. Well, that answers my first question. David. I know, it needs a lot of work, but... Well, it's a lovely gesture, Scooter. It's going to be as good as new when I'm finished, though. I'm sure you're very good with your hands. You'd have to ask Sarah that. David, clear the plate. Mom! Now... Ignoring Scooter, he's at that age. Do you know, I had one just like this when I was a girl. I don't know who's luckier. Me or Bethany. Oh, is that the time? Better get going, Mum. Oh, I'll just nip up and yeah, see Bethany. I'll just go and get changed. <laughs> David, are you not supposed to be going to the cinema with your dad? Nah. Thought I'd stay here and keep you two company. That's all right with you, isn't it, Scooter? Uh, yeah. David, do you like living? I'll get my coat. How long have you been home? About half hour. Where's Scooter and Sarah? <laughs> People are going to think we're part of some of all this junk he keeps bringing us. <laughs> well, Bethany doesn't seem to be complaining. She's played with that more than she has her own toys. Mum, she looks like an advert for deprived kids. Hello, love. Do you want some toast? Please. Don't you look cute? Mwah. Hey, maybe you could get her a swing with no seat to go with it. <laughs> David. Oh, he's going to fix it. Anyway, I think it's nice of him that he's got us something. Most blokes he wouldn't even bother. Well, I agree. I think he's a very considerate young man. But that doesn't mean that he has to bring something with him every time he comes. And he's very welcome without the present. Mum, he doesn't mind. Scooter. Uh, do you want some toast? I'm just doing some for Sarah. Uh, no, Tar. It's okay, it's no bother. I'm not really a toast person. Oh, well, um, some cereal then. Uh, I'm not really a cereal person either. In fact, I'm not really a breakfast person. Oh, I see. <gasps> just as well. How did that happen? Scooter, I'll have a look at it for you. He's dead good at fixing things, aren't you? Uh, I sometimes let my dad out in the shed. Shed? Yeah, he collects things, bits of junk, you know. Ooh, just like us. Mainly electrical. <gasps> he gets them going again, you know, like um, old hair dryers and uh, black and white TV sets. So, um, what's the verdict? Yeah, it's definitely broken. Got something for you. Oh. No. Here. A toaster. Works perfect. Um. Is it from your dad's? No. A skip at a house clearance. Poor old fellow had died. Well, that's some. Um... It's very thoughtful of you, Scooter. It's OK. Well, I'll see you. Oh! Big man's crumbs. Either that or it's mouse dropping. Hi. Hi. You chucked it out, remember? Not our toaster, Scooter's toaster. I don't know. David, it was here when I went out. Now it's not. You're the only one in the house, so where is it? 
What's in the bin? Well, it was gross. We don't even know what he died of. What if it was somewhat contagious? We could have caught all sorts. Gangrene, black death. Go get it out. If Scooter found it, he'd be really upset. <laughs> yeah, but he wouldn't be diseased, would he? It's all right for him. He don't even have breakfast. Now, put it in the outside bin where he'll never find it. Eh? I managed to get the same one. If we rough it up a bit, he'll never know. The big tank for just them little fish. You think I should have brought some more? Oh, no, I think two's enough for now. Let's see how they get on before we start an aquarium. Oh, I think they're lovely, don't you, Beth? Yeah. But they're going to need some more water, though. Yeah, what have we got? We can carry oh, all sorts. Tell you what, Bethany. I bet they'd like some of your chocolate. Do you think so? Yeah. Right, come on, let's give them a bit of this then. Come on. Come get it. That's it. Chocolate. It's stuck in. <laughs> what are you doing? Mum, have you seen what he's done? Hey, it's Easter for them as well. Oh, he's put chocolate in the fish tank. Oh, David. I'll get it out. Not shit, I'll have your hand off then. Sure, will ya? Mum, will you please just tell him? I must say, I think that's a very childish thing to do, David. I think goldfish are pretty childish. Yeah, that's enough of your silly comments. He's very good at scooter too. Right, there you Shall we tell him? All right, but they're not going to like it. It seems to be a problem. Hi, uh, oh, cheers for looking after her, David. Um, so much happened. What? Where's the fish? She's eating them. I went to the toilet, come back, and she was just swallowing the second one. Bethany, sweetheart. You haven't, have you? Right. She's eating the fish. What are we going to do? So, now you're saying that you didn't actually eat them. Well, of course she will. She's heard us going on about hospitals and stomach pumps. And if she didn't eat them, then where are they? <gasps> Did you actually eat No. See... This is all my oh, fault. It's not your fault. Will you stop saying that? Well, I think we should take it to casualty, just in case. <laughs> Darling, if you didn't eat the little fish, where are they? Ta-da! Look what I just found. David! Thank goodness for that. Oh. So it was him? So you did all this just to scare us? Just to make your lives a little bit more exciting? Yeah, I did. Right, do you want to go on now? David, that is not funny. It was Bethany's idea. It wasn't Bethany's, it was yours. Well, it was childish enough to be Bethany's idea. I don't know what's got into you today. Will you just start behaving? Oh, we was only joking, weren't you, sweetheart? Yeah, I had to. Had to? What do you mean you had to? Well, I tried to get her to eat him for real, but she wouldn't. Sarah, can you turn that down, please? It is down. You can still hear it. Well, I can't. Sarah! Mm. These are ears syringed. I thought brown were live. Nah, that's your colours, ain't it? Brown's earth, cos, like, well, earth's brown. And what's blue, then water? <laughs> no, I don't be daft. Blue's neutral. And anything green or yellow is... Oh, no, hang on. Green and yellow's earth. <sighs> what's red? Red's live. Are you sure? Yeah, he's right. He don't know. He's a nurse, not an electrician. Your dad knows. Coffee. Oh, David, it's after ten. Oh, we've nearly done now. It's a school night. Dad? I don't know. Two minutes. All right. There. Done. Yeah, I'll plug it in, mate. OK, torches, everybody. Hang about. What are your torches for? It's for user lights twice already. Third time lucky. Right. One, two, three. Oh, Scooter! Sorry. It's only got three wires. How many times can it go wrong? Right, everyone stay where they are. I'll check the fuses. Two, three. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it works! <laughs> <laughs> not to sound so surprised, Mrs. Pratt. I'm not. Law of averages said it was bound to work sooner or later. Now, you, bed. Good night. 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 Night, mate. You still here? You kicking me out? We don't come round this late normal. Something going on? No. No, there's nothing going on. It's just I'm always the last one to find out when something's going on. Trust me. There's nothing going on. All right? All right, good night. Yeah, OK. No, good night, sunshine. No, I was watching that earlier. Oh. 
I'm watching my sports news. No, I was watching the music. Now, give it here. No, ask me nicely. I'll give you a fat lip. Give no, it here. Try again. Hey. What's the magic word? Keep it down. Toast anybody? We're all right here, then. What's it? I won't say no. Sleep all right? Yeah, Tom. Are you still here? Oh, and a very good morning to you and all. Did you sleep here last night? Uh, yeah. Why? To wind you up. Want some toast? Something's going on. Nothing's going on. Dinner money's on the side. Bathroom's free. Well, it's about time. Oh, well, Mr Platt. Scooter. Right, uh, I think that's everything. Toast on the table. Are you ready for school, my lady? Yeah. Good. And it would be very nice if I didn't have to come back to a sink full of washing up this evening. Oh, I'll do the washing up. Something's going on. Thank you. And, Sarah, you're picking Bethany up from school. I know. Yeah, and Scooter, are you staying for your tea tonight? Um, yeah, please, that's OK. Right. Chops at 6.30. Have a nice day, everybody. Come on, sweetheart. Right, you be good. Say bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, and, by bye -bye. the way, Martin's in charge for breakfast. Don't do the wash, Mum. Are we going to play footy? Well, play in the street. Scrooge match between me and Barney. I've got a beat him in replay. OK, but you hang it up afterwards, all right? All right, deal. Who's this Barney that he can't kick around in street? Rabbit. Oh, don't hold with the lettuce chomping vermin myself unless you're eating them. It's a much underrated food stuff. Well, don't let David hear you say that. He thinks he's too old, but he dotes on his bunny, really. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. Was that you or the rabbit? Me. I take it you're on the fringes of the school team rather than its backbone. I haven't seen that bunny make a single telling tackle. Yeah, I'm playing him off the park. Not the most exciting of pets, are they? Oh, he's mega boring. Mum thinks I love him. See, he's high maintenance and low fun. It's all cage cleaning, really. This is the closest you get to having a laugh with him. Black shoots! I'll take that as a second warning. What do you mean? We'll have to wait and see on that one, won't we? And Barney the Rabbit makes the late challenge. He's too slow for Platt. Platt's the wrong goal. He shoots. I'm sorry, son. You've had your chances. Three strikes and you're out. What did you do that for? Got to teach you a lesson, ain't I? I gave you two warnings and I acted on the third. Firm but fair. Fair? You're not a psycho, are you, Keith? I don't think I am. But I got me principles and I stick to them. Well, what if Barney found his way into your garden? Would the three strikes rule apply to him and all? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? Come on, Barney. Time for you to take shelter from this weirdo. Wake up, Barney. Bethany wants to play with you. Barney. Mum! Mum! Is everything all right? What's the matter? Some up with Barney, he's not moving. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. What? He's dead. Well, can't we give him a kiss of life and revive him or something? He's cold, love. He must have been dead hours. I'm really sorry. Chin up, lad. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you, Keith? David! He didn't mean that. I know he didn't. Come on, come on in. All right, well, I best find someone to bury him in. Better make it foxproof. Foxproof? Aye, they're beggars. They'll dig him up and spread him all over the ground if you don't put him in somewhat secure. Oh, I've not got time for this. I'm going to be late. I'll have to do it when I get back. Must be an explanation. Do you think he might not be dead? David, he was stiff. Oh. Might have been birds. Birds, what are they gonna do? I don't think that's very likely, Scooter. Hello, Keith. What brings you in here? I've um, I've come on solemn business. I saw young David earlier when he were grieving for his rabbit. Which has mysteriously disappeared, Keith. And I could see he was struggling for a proper memorial. So I created one for him.
Well, I, I did consider putting him in more of an action pose. And I knew you liked playing football with him, but I couldn't find a suitably sized ball. And this has a certain quiet dignity about it. Also, it's uh, much faster to mount him in the traditional pose. And I knew you'd be looking for him to be returned quite quickly. Well, I honestly don't know what to say, Keith. You've stuffed Barney. I've mounted him. No, I don't think I want to know that, lover. Well, that's what we call it, mounting. Anyway, um, I'll not intrude on your grief any longer. I'll bid you good night. Well, thank you, Keith. It's an extremely unexpected gesture. I don't believe it. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you all think it's funny. <laughs> oh, oh, lovey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Oh, it's okay. you wanted him to go and live with you and Robin. Well, it was wrong. It was a misunderstanding. It's him you have to convince, not me. Hey. Can't go to school. Uh, hang on, you got five minutes, haven't you? <sighs> Look, uh, somehow, yesterday we got our wires crossed, didn't we? I never said I wanted you to move out to Liverpool with me and Robin. What I said was... Yeah, well, it don't matter now, does it? Cos I always come last, don't I? No, that's not true. Look, I care about you both. All right. I love Robin, but never stop me loving you, and he never will. Oh, so I suppose it's her who don't want me living with you. <laughs> no. Oh, <clears throat> look, let's just get this straight, shall we? I'd never ask you to move away from your mum and this house and the rest of your family to come and live with me because it'll mean you're leaving them. Not to mention your school and the rest of your pals. And you won't want that, would you? No, I suppose not, but I just wish you weren't going anywhere. It's Liverpool. It's not Timbuktu. It's an hour down the motorway. That's true, David. And you're going to come and visit us, I hope. Yeah, of course I will. And I want you to come and stop with us, you know. And holidays and weekends and that. If you want to. And I, uh, I hope you do. Yeah, that will be OK. Look, I'm your dad, OK? You're the only son I'll ever have, and I don't want to lose you. Ever. And that's the truth. I can't I mean to say he has to like it. Oh, they don't like anything at that age, do they? Hmm. Hello? Yeah, that's right. David? Are you sure it's David? David Platt, year 10. No, it's just not like him, that's all. Yeah, of course, I'll, I'll come straight over. Is something wrong? It's Mr Lewis's secretary. The hat, what did he want? Just found David on the school playing field. Drunk as a skunk. You're not going to be sick, is he? Well, if he is, he can mop it up himself. What the hell were you drinking, David? Whatever he could find at the back of the kitchen cupboard. Thunderbolt. We don't have cider in the house. And I guess it was buy one, get one free at booze bin. Unless... He wouldn't steal it. I know he wouldn't. An honest drunk. That's some compensation. It won't happen again, Mr Lewis. You have my word. It's David's word I need. David? Hmm. Huh. He's um, having a hard time of it at the moment. He's very close to his father and he's moving to Liverpool with a new partner. She's a teacher. Enough to drive anyone to drink. David, I'm suspending you until Wednesday. <laughs> yes, resolved. David! Make that the end of the week. Please, it's a one-off. I don't care. It's my name on the board outside. And me they'll blame when they see you staggering about in uniform. I'm calling time on the lot of you. The drinkers, the glue sniffers, the shoplifters, the skivers and the bullies. And if that means making an example of a nice kid who's had it tough, tough. Got that? 
Got that? Yes, sir. Get out of my sight until Friday. And from now till Christmas, you report to me at registration. Understood? Yes, sir. Well, he's not singing. That's something. Get off me, I'm all right. Get me inside before me mum sees him. Your turn. What? It's a good job the driver had that evening news as well. We've had the window down since the parkway. Oh. Just what are you playing at? Thirsty. Hey, you're in enough trouble. Don't make it worse. Look, it were a laugh. Oh, what? You in a bottle of gut rot? Yeah. It's hardly Glastonbury. I'm not on my own, I'm not that sad. You were on your own in front of the headmaster. How come you're stone cold sober? If it was you, I'd understand. Oh, no, I'm, I'm more of a bourbon guy. Your dad's only going to be an hour away. Yeah, so's me mum. It's great, you can book him for a hug. See you later. See ya. Yeah, go on. Go on, kick me now, why don't you join the queue? Not me. He's got to learn. He's had 15 years of you at his beck and call. I never even knew my father. He's playing the sympathy card. He's come to the wrong house. Cheers. Tea. No. Orange juice. Cider. Aren't you supposed to be at the salon today? Oh, come on, it's his first hangover. You're not going to be late on your first day. Gran won't mind. I mind. <sighs> I feel your pain, I feel your shame. Sarah! <sighs> I'm lost for words, David. I really am. Sorry, Mum. Yeah. So am I. I know you're having a hard time of it lately, but getting placid isn't the answer, love. Mum. There are better ways of dealing with our problems. Like what? Like talking. That's all we ever do. That's all you do. I don't see you any happier. This isn't about me. Well, it's not your problem then, is it? <laughs> 